Hello guys, this is Pavel Oskorov from Laravel Daily Team and Laravel Daily Video Channel. Today is just me talking to the camera, talking to you guys, without any coding or PHP Storm opened, uh, because I want to talk about something not directly related to coding, and that is pitching yourself to clients. Uh, I've been freelancing for the last, sorry, <coughs> for the last like 10 years or so. First local in Lithuania, then locally in London, then remote via Upwork, then Elance, Odesk, people per hour, and then uh, outside of those job boards now. Uh, now uh, clients are coming to me via email, LinkedIn, Skype, or like any channel. Uh, so I've been involved in a lot of pitching myself or my team to clients and winning or losing the clients. Uh, in a situation where there are like 10 or 50 other competitors, especially that's true uh, in case of like job boards of Upwork or Elance at the time. So I want to share my tips and thoughts, what is important to the client. Like let's imagine ourselves in the role of client, what do they need and what do they care about? That's the most important thing. They don't care about how many years of experience you have or technical. Well, they do care, but we'll get to that. Um, let's imagine, let's, let's put ourselves in the client's shoes. And in my opinion, there are three things they care about, three things they need to know before hiring you. So before deciding whether to hire you or hire another vendor or possibly even uh, just close the project altogether. So uh, first question number, question number one from the client is your technical expertise, after all. So uh, by saying that they don't care how many years of experience you have, they do care, but not about the years. So for example, if, if, you, um, if you are pitching for the project with Laravel and Vue.js and Elasticsearch, for example, they want to see the experience specifically with those technologies, meaning examples. So you, you need to have GitHub repositories ready or uh, projects to show, like visual projects uh, which are already live and up and running, so you could send links explaining what was done actually. Uh, and it's not enough to just send the link, you need to explain. So this is the Elasticsearch part, and this is Vue.js part and stuff like that. So first, uh, clients uh, want to qualify you as a technical expert. So are you up to are you up to the job? I mean, do you? It's not that you've uh, you you went through Laracasts and you you know some Laravel. It's usually about examples, pre previous examples in the same technology, and even better within the same field. So if you're creating a website, potential website for a travel agency, if you've done something in travel business and travel area, that's perfect. So uh, clients care first about examples of previous work both technical and, uh, and non-technical in the same area. So be prepared for that. Uh, do your homework, uh, put some code on GitHub, uh, put some testimonials from previous clients on your website with links to them. So you can be like, you can confidently show the links and the previous work. So that's question number one. Uh, clients care about previous experience. Question number two is overview plan of actions uh, and deadlines and costs. It's actually three things, but it's, it's all one thing, one big question, the plan. So do you have the plan to, uh, to get the project done? So that should be your pitch, that should be your uh, proposal, it's called sometimes. Um, I do that, uh, well, I used to do that, not that much anymore, but via Upwork. I prepare usually a PDF document just in Google Docs and then export to PDF. Just a table of uh, like plan. This will take this much, this will take a day, this will take two days. And then you have overview plan, uh, step by step, function by function. Uh, then uh, kind of a scope and kind of a deadline and milestones. And possibly the costs if you bill hourly or daily or weekly. Uh, the cost might be attached to the days, might be not attached to the days. It depends how, how you're pricing. But to prepare that document, uh, you usually have to ask questions to the client. So thing number two, if, if you're qualified, if you've, uh, if, if you've done the homework and you're qualified technically, 
then uh, you should get the conversation further and sh you should ask the client specific questions about the functionality of the project uh, and then prepare some document, prepare the proposal. It doesn't have to be like visually designed 10 pages branded thing unless you're pitching to a big agency. Uh, but uh, for simple thing, it's totally fine and enough to have a list of functions with um, estimates and with like just kind of a to-do list, but in a more sophisticated way, like in table with possibly additional comments, additional questions. Uh, but what clients care about at this point, like step number two, is the plan, the overall plan. How are you envision the uh, the path from from zero to delivering the project. So how much it costs and how much it will take and what are we doing uh, along the way. So that's kind of, a, as I said, three questions, but in reality, in one question, the plan. Uh, so yeah, so uh, question number two is your overview plan for the project, the plan that you're proposing. It might be not ideal. It, it's never ideal, actually, because there are things you don't know yet. It's like an overview, a brief, a draft, whatever you call it. Uh, but from there, uh, clients need to uh, see that first you care about the project, so you've, you've spent the time to analyze that deeply, more or less, and then you know what you're doing. So you're not just coding, you're basically, you're, you're planning steps uh, professionally and you know, uh, you know all the steps uh, from your previous project. From that, by the way, they also see your experience too, not only technical, but in terms of processes. And question number three is actually related to processes. So um, the details, the clients care about um, lessen the risks. So as little surprises as possible and uh, as, as little risk as possible within the project. So, uh, so they care about that might happen after you're hired or before. Uh, Clients might ask, so what is your process or processes? Well, what, how, how do you work in general? So what are the deliverables? How will I test the things? Uh, what do you need from me? Uh, what systems are we using? What uh, software are we using? And stuff like that. So in our examples, uh, well, there are a few things here, but uh, clients care about uh, deployment process. Uh, they might care about it deeper if they are technical themselves. So, for example, if you are hired by another development company, so you will get more questions. But, for example, do you have staging or testing servers? Uh, in our case, in Laravel Daily uh, team case, uh, we, we do have staging servers for all the clients. So we prepare subdomains for testing. Uh, then uh, the automatic testing, is it... Uh, do you do automatic testing or not? Is it within the budget or, or not? Uh, if the client is not technical, they probably won't ask that. So you have to decide for yourself. Do you need the automatic testing for that specific project? Do you have the time and do you have the risks involved? Um, so yeah, uh, so testing, staging servers, deployment process. Uh, how do you handle all of that? How will clients test... Uh, test the milestones, test the deliverables, related to what project management software you use. We heavily use Trello and I have a video separately on that, how we use Trello, uh, but you can choose any like Asana, Jira or whatever. Uh, where is the repository stored, whether it's GitHub or Bitbucket or GitLab or whatever, um, and yeah. stuff like that. So basically clients care about the details uh, of how will you work, how often will you meet or or talk on Skype, or deliver the milestone. Will it be daily, weekly? What is the process of uh, getting the information, storing like files, whether it's Dropbox or Google Drive, or directly via Skype or email, stuff like that. So uh, clients need to understand, what I'm saying is, clients need to understand that you know how the process works. For example, if you come to the doctor, uh, you expect to see the doctor knowing uh, knowing this stuff so you don't need to explain to the doctor so take this instrument and uh, do that thing so you expect the doctor to have all all their ducks in a row so to speak and uh, you expect uh, you expect the how to rephrase that in another way uh, no surprises basically that's that's the whole thing so 
if you know the process, if you've been, uh, been in the market uh, for long enough, you will know what to do. And that's exactly what the clients care about. Uh, they care about your previous experience again, and that comes down to the process as well. So uh, to recap, there are three things uh, clients care about, in my opinion. Maybe there's more, maybe you'll add something. But uh, thing number one is your exp expertise, technical expertise with previous examples of related work. Thing number two is your overview plan that you're proposing for the project. And, um, and step number three, which might happen after the hire or before, is the process of how it will actually be delivered. So tools, processes involved, and whether you know what you're doing. So I hope these three things will help you. Uh, if you want to discuss it, feel free to add a comment on YouTube or email me directly at pavelas.laravaldaily.com and see you in the next videos of Laravel Daily Channel.